what's good everybody welcome back to another money and toys video today we are back with a brand new wwe elite action figure ranking video some of my favorite videos we do here on the channel is the elite ranking videos we have a special one we have one of my favorite performers of all time a guy that made me cry on multiple occasions growing up as a kid yes he did it is none other than edge we have edge today and also if you guys are interested in voting on these videos what ranking video we do next become a patron member of the mdt youtube channel extreme division members or higher get to vote on these i give them a select group of different ranking videos and then they vote on it to see which is next and edge did win the vote we had some close calls there but edge ultimately did win and we threw all his figures in here he actually has 16 different elites and ultimates i do throw the ultimate in there i think it's worthy of that you know you got to include it in there i'm sure we'll probably get another edge ultimate down the line but nonetheless man we're diving into another ranking video and i love these 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 make the world go round for me we have our sections down here that we got to run through right now at the top, you have the go buy it section. If I put the figure in the go buy it section, it legitimately means that I am telling you to go find it, purchase it with your own money, and put it in your collection. That's the only way to do it. So go buy it means go get it serious. Like, go, what What are you doing? Next up on the set, we have good figure. Now, if I put a figure in good figure, that means that if you had it in your collection, I would understand it. It would make sense. I'd be like, yeah, that is a solid football game, but I don't think it's must have. It's not a figure that you just absolutely need in the collection, and that is good figure. Underneath that is meh. That is in the green there. Meh means it's not necessarily that your figure's good. It doesn't mean that your figure's bad. It's just like, it's middle of the road. It's mid. It's a mid figure. It's like, it's okay. Next up is barely acceptable. Now, if you go in barely acceptable, it means that you have one quality about your figure that is keeping you from the bottom thing. This could be a head sculpt. This could be feel in hand. This could be something about your figure is keeping you from the bottom, which is the garbage, which means you don't need to even look at this figure. It's abysmal, and you shouldn't add it to your collection. You should actually go out of your way to prevent yourself from buying. If this, if there's a figure in garbage, and you find an eBay listing with a go buy it in there, you avoid it. You don't even want the figure. Don't do it. Now, with those things being said, let's go ahead and dive into our next figure ranking, and that is going to be Edge. So, first up, we have one of the first elites ever made wwe elite series one edge and for me brad i'm putting it in meh it's a meh figure it's meh okay it didn't age the best it's not a trash figure you know i don't think it's barely acceptable it's a it's a it's a responsible edge it had a rubber coat not very good not the best head sculpt but it gets the job done i guess it's mid it's 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 okay i'm not gonna hate you for it it has legendary status, but that's besides the point. Next up is the most recent Edge, if you're not counting the Ruthless Aggression Elite. It is Elite 102 Edge. This one is good figure. I mean, I don't know how you can really say it's not a good figure, right? It's not my favorite. It's an okay sock. I don't know. It's like the body really puts me off, especially with these modern edges. These modern edges, man. Like, the Daniel Bryan torsos never really fit him, to be honest with you. I think the William Regal torso works better for him. But in the modern era, the Cesaro Elite 33 torso is what they should be using. Maybe I should campaign for that one next. But this is a good figure. You get double joint arms. It's a really sick ass gear. It's got the updated haircut edge. It's a good head sculpt. It's got an ugly ass rubber coat though. But you know what? We'll give him a pass here. He's in good figure. I'd understand if you have it in the collection. Good articulation, all the good stuff. Next up is Elite 13 Edge. And this one is like our only, I guess not technically, it's not really our only, but it's one of our, one of our only Edge and Christian Edges. And for that reason, uh, geez, I like the gear, but like, I don't know if it's like must have. Is it must have? I'm going to say good figure. I'm going to say good figure, you know, it's from Elite 13, so it's a very early on Elite, but it's a solid figure overall, solid head sculpt, good gear would understand if you had it, not must have. And that's a perfect good figure right there. Next up is Elite 8 Edge. This is a really damn good rated R Edge right here, fellas. This is a damn good football game, if I do say so myself. I honestly want to put this in Go Buy It, but I'm not. I'm going to put it at the top of go Good Figure because I don't think it's the best rated R Edge. I think it's a very good iteration. I like the head sculpt. I love the gear. I think it's a really unique gear. It's red. It looks fire. But I don't think it's just absolute must-have. It's very, very good, though. And if you had it in the collection, I'd be like, hell yeah, that's a solid that's a solid football game right there. Next up is Elite 83 Edge. I love this figure. It's literally one of the only redeeming things. 
things about Elite Series 83. It's like his, it's not his, I think it's his WrestleMania gear versus Randy Orton, or maybe it's Backlash. It's one or the other. It's a solid figure. It was missing a lot of details, though. It's a really good head sculpt. They gave him the damn Daniel Bryan torso, which is, I <laughs> But I really do like this figure a lot. Is it go buy it worth? Ha, son, I'm gonna tell you right now that it is. Christ, I'm going good figure. I'm going good figure. I'm going good figure. I'm gonna put it at the top of good figure. I think. Yeah, I'm gonna go here. At the end, we always reanalyze, right? I'm gonna go back at the end, and I'm gonna reanalyze our positions. We're gonna take into a credit, and we're gonna be like, yeah, I don't like this. I can move this here and there. We're gonna do that. So, for now, I'm gonna put him in good figure. We could come back and change that at any moment, but for now, he's going in good figure. Next up is the chase of this, and the same thing. I'm gonna put this up here. I actually really like this gear. Uh, it's actually a really solid gear. It's very, I call it the Guns N' Roses gear. Just reminds me of Guns N' Roses when I look at it. It's got like the army green with the red and black. Very unique. I thought this was a wonderful selection for a chase figure, and I actually love this figure. It's a solid figure. Uh, both of those are really good. I can't believe they're not going to go buy it, but I think this is pretty good. I mean, we have some really good, like, studs coming up, so that's probably why, but for me, this is good figure here. I'm going to leave him right there. Next up, we have Elite 94 Edge, and this is the all-white gear, man. You, <laughs> Where am I putting it, Brad? You know where the hell I'm putting it. I'm putting it in. Go buy it. It's absolute go buy it. It's not even a thing. I just realized that I put the damn settings on portrait instead of square which is going to F up my entire template. I'm just going to have to live with it, I guess. But Elite 94 Edge, love the gear, hate the rubber coat. Absolute abysmal. I like the old, the older Edge head sculpt here and the pissed off, like, grungy head sculpt. Kind of reminds me of, like, a throwback Edge mixed with a hybrid, like, modern Edge. But the gear is so fire that you got to go buy it. It's so good. Uh, all the modern Edges are so good. And I love it. God, how did we go so long without Edge figures, man? What a beautiful deal. And I hope I didn't leave any off. I don't think I did, but you never know. Next up is the Legends Target Exclusive Chase Edge. This is a go buy it as well. Fantastic coat. Fantastic head sculpt. Can represent an Edge and Christian Edge or a Ruthless Aggression Edge. Fantastic tights. You have the red gear and you have the regular version, which is going to be in white, which I'll bring up right now. They're both go buy it. And it's just pick your poison, Brad. Pick your poison. I love both of them because you can represent, you know, like when, when Edge broke away singles early on, when he went over to SmackDown. You can use it for that. You could use it for Edge and Christian. Double jointed arms, great head sculpt, fantastic coat that can be used for other things. It's just an enormously fantastic Edge figure, and you should go buy those. Those are great. I guess you don't need both of them. Just, again, pick your poison, take it, turn into a llama, and live with it. Moving right along, we have the Hall of Fame Target Exclusive Edge. This is one of my favorite edges of all time, man. I freaking love this gear. I love this figure. The Hall of Fame camo pants, Brad. Another rubber jacket. I mean, God in heaven. I can't stand the damn rubber jackets, bro. I mean, it makes me want to vomit into the floor. But the camo is just simply too good. So good. So good. The silver, the black, the white, the gray mixes together just excellently. Excellent figure. And I also love that, like, I hate the rubber jacket, but that it's gray, it really, like, gives you a chef's kiss. Next up is the Ruthless Aggression Elite Edge in the purple camo, and I don't even own this figure yet. I am trying my best to track it down along with JBL to mix with my Tory Wilson that we got over WrestleMania weekend, if you guys remember that when we toured the Design Center at Mattel, but for me, this is also go buy it. I'm gonna put it at the top. Uh, all these right here are easy go by. They're so good, man. Like, like how we had, you know how I talked about all these good figures right here in this good figure section? All the ones in the go by it are better than the ones in this good figure. And I love all these go by it's right here. They are so damn good because they're either upgrades of the good figures or they're simply like they have better head sculpts, they have better figures, they have better attires. I know the Ruthless Aggression Elite is missing some like deco on it for copyright and trademarks and licenses and garbage, but I still think that, uh, that that's an easy go by it. I don't even have it yet, but I'm trying to buy it. You know what I mean? I know how good it is, Brad. I mean, look at it. Next up is going to be the SummerSlam Elite Edge. I'm going to be honest with you. I freaking, I don't like this figure. I don't like the head. Head sculpt. I don't like the gear. It came with a rubber jacket. How's it not garbage, honestly? How are we not living in the garbage right now? I'm going to give it barely acceptable, but God, I really don't want to, bro. That figure's not good. I, d I don't like it. I don't like it. I also want to say they gave him, like, Christian legs, so he's, like, shorter than he's supposed to be. Oh, son. Oh, son. That's a garbage. That's a garbage. I forgot about that. I think, like, he, ha he, he had the wrong lower leg. He didn't have, like, the typical edge formula, so he had, like, he was shorter than the rest of his edge figures. 
garbage. Horrible head, not a good gear. I think it was like his debut. <laughs> it was like his pay-per-view debut, I think. <laughs> garbage. Next up, ringside exclusive rated R Edge. This is a go buy it right here, man. I like this figure a whole lot. It comes with a rated R championship. Uh, if you're going to get a rated R era edge, I really like this one. I just like the black and red. It just fits so snug. I, I love the gear. I love the figure. The head sculpt's not the best of all time, but it's really nostalgic too. Like the packaging and everything, ringside exclusive. Like I, I'm not telling you to go buy it mint on card, but I, I love the mint on card. If I could have that figure mint on card for a really good deal, I'd probably take it. I really like the rated R edge. It's very damn good ringside exclusive. Next up is the Edge Heads 3-in-1 Ringside Exclusive. This is a good figure, and I would it's an upgrade from the Elite One, you know what I mean? It's an upgrade from the Elite One, I would say. It's better slightly. It's pretty much the same exact head sculpt, but I still I think that's I think it's necessary there. I think that's totally necessary for you to put that figure there. If you had it in the collection, I'd completely understand it. But one thing I'm realizing is that Edge has a lot of really damn good figures, man. They don't really miss on him very much. And he's got some bangers up here, man. Next up is the Ultimate Edition Edge. And I always get flack for this, bro. But I honestly do think Edge's Ultimate is my least favorite Ultimate they've ever done. Sure is. Yep. Barely acceptable. Barely acceptable. Love the jacket. Love some of the things they did with the head sculpt. Everything else? Garbage. Hate the torso, hate the way it looks. It doesn't have pinless joints. They're like, the arms look weird. He looks super, super lean. The jacket and the jacket arms and, and the screaming head sculpt or the pissed off spearing head sculpt is like, and I like the return gear, like the moment. I just, I am not a big fan of that figure, man. For whatever, I, I love the moment. I have my actual reaction to it on the channel. You can go see that. I was losing my damn mind. I had chills all over my body, but barely acceptable for me. And then we're rounding it up at the end with the WrestleMania 36, WrestleMania Elite. It's the WrestleMania 36 Elite Wave is what I'm telling you. It's not from WrestleMania 36, but it's the terrible, ugly match with Mick Foley or Cactus Jack. The Edge figure here. Jesus Christ. The pants are good, and that's it. They gave him that stone-cold torso, which made no sense. The head sculpt was abysmal. Is there something... The intro, the little jet, I'm putting it in barely acceptable. The bottom of barely acceptable. I cannot believe that figure is higher than the other, but I actually like the gear. I like the gear. I like the entrance, like, throw. I like the wristband. Like, they have some good things going on. All it needed is a different torso and a different head sculpt. Head sculpt was abysmal. Absolute trash head sculpt. But that edge figure is really good outside of those things. So barely acceptable. That figure shell formed like hell. It, it was ugly, son. Ugly. But this is it. And when I look at this... I really don't have any problems with it because I think my go buy it section is the elite of the elite. It's the top of the top. My good figures are solid. My meh, I think, is completely necessary. My ultimate edition in the barely acceptable there is completely fine with me. I'm not going to lose sleep over that at night. I love this ranking. This is a money ranking right here, and I think I think this is pretty accurate, man. I, I, can, I understand why people like that ultimate. I completely understand it. It's just not for me, man. And I love Edge, and I love that moment, and I love that jacket, but you might could put it in mid. You might could put the WrestleMania Elite in mid, but th those figures have some atrocious things going on with it, in my opinion, so that's why they're down there. But that is going to wrap up our Edge ranking video, man. I had a ton of fun with this. I love ranking these figures. I have no idea who's coming next, so if you guys want to vote on that, definitely check out the Patreon. We're going to be voting on the next one. And it should be coming next week. Like, I, I plan to... I'm going out to Comic-Con. I plan to have that video ready to go. And patron members should get that video early. And I think we're going to be voting on Hulk Hogan or Cody Rhodes for the next one. So, if you guys are interested in that, click the link in the description below to become a patron member. But that is going to wrap up today's video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on my ranking and uh, what you think is the best. Do you think this is accurate? Do you think it's inaccurate? Let me know all the things down in the comment section below, man. But that is going to wrap this video up. Thank you for watching. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one.